Hamza. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. And how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Everything is uh, very good. Yeah, my name is Stephen, and I come from England originally, although now I live in Central America, near Mexico, Honduras. Um, I, I live somewhere else now. But where do you live, um, Hamza? Are you from Turkey? Yeah, I'm from Turkey. Uh, uh, I live in Istanbul, in Turkey. I've been oh, here wow. for two uh, for two years, and I am a nurse and I am a student at a college. Uh, my department is anesthetist. I, I can say it. Uh, I can oh. say the pronunciation is very hard. Uh, anesthetist. Anesthetist. Anesthetics. Anesthetics. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's not that that anesthetics. Anesthetics. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's good enough. I, I that very well. Oh wow. So, so you're a student nurse. Um, you're you're a nurse, but now you're learning. You're a student learning more things in the medical profession. Yeah, my uh, okay. my first uh, goal. I can say it about it. Okay, that's great. Um, what. Well, what made you decide to be a nurse in the first place? What what um what made you think? Yeah, I'll be a nurse. Yeah, um, Istanbul is first place uh, for job, and uh, my main um, okay. Uh, my hometown is Kırıkkale. Kırıkkale uh, near the capit Kırıkkale uh, where. Uh, uh -huh. Near the capital city. Oh, Ankara. Is it Ankara? Yeah. The... You, you know Ankara? Oh, no. Oh. I, I, I've not been to Turkey, but I, I, I've heard about it. I've seen maps and I said, oh, yeah, I think Ankara is somewhere in the middle, something like that. Or, But I've heard of it. I, I know my capitals, but I haven't actually been there. But um, yeah, not yet. So, well, there you go. So, Ankara. Yeah. Okay. But Istanbul is nicer. <laughs> beautiful, mm -hmm. most beautiful city in Turkey. Uh, mm -hmm. I like living here. Uh, there, there are many reasons to live Istanbul. Oh, but so you talk about it. I mean, there's lots of things to talk about, like your work as a nurse in other city. But let's think about Istanbul. I mean, I've not been to Istanbul, but I know it's got a lot of history going back a long time. So you, can you explain? Your reasons why you like Istanbul? Why is it a good place to be and to live? Yeah, first of all, uh, as you say, there are many historical places in Istanbul. Also, um, the and Asia and between Asia and Europe uh, uh -huh. sites in Istanbul. Uh, uh -huh. There are two sites in Istanbul: uh, Asia site and Europe site. Asia oh, right. site, yeah. Uh, Asia side and Europe side. Also, it is mid. Uh, there are there is beautiful. Uh, there are there are beautiful. There are yeah. Okay. Oh wow! So there are beautiful seams. It so, seems beautiful. Well, that's great. So in one part of this temple, you could be in Asia, and then yeah. To the other part, you're you're still in this temple, but now you're in Europe. So you've got two continents in joined together in the city. Yeah. yeah I don't it's, think there's true. anywhere else in the world. There's no I don't think there's any other place in the world that can say that. I don't think there's any other city that can say, I'm in this continent, I'm in that one. So that's quite unique. That is like one of a kind. Yeah. Oh yeah. I agree with you. But uh, no, but uh, also uh the next reason uh next reason uh for example uh, if you want to if you want to travel uh, in Istanbul mm -hmm. if you want to travel uh there are many opportunities for that all right yeah mm -hmm. for example uh beaches uh or historical places and um uh, social activities Right. Uh, and uh, but uh, I think that is problem uh, that the lot of uh, very crowded city in Istanbul. Uh, 
Yeah, Even in a famous city. People. Yeah, there are 16 million people, millions of people in Istanbul. So do you say 60, 60 or 16? 16. Oh, well, that's still a huge number. London, our capital, is a, is got 10 million. So Istanbul is a lot more people than we have. Yeah. That's, Actually, yeah. It's I like a country. Okay. That's like a country. Uh, excuse me, I can't. I I can I uh, I couldn't hear. Oh, I said sixteen million. That's almost like a small country, not just a city. That number. Um, so it's very crowded, then I guess. In Istanbul. Yeah, I wanted to say that actually. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I wanted okay. to say uh, that. I tried to say. It. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been here. Uh, I've been. I've I've been learning English for five months. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, thank you for your recommend. And mm -hmm. before that, I I didn't uh, know English. I didn't mm -hmm. know English. Zero. I can say it. Okay. Uh, about it. <laughs> you got to start somewhere. You all have. To, everybody has to start somewhere. And zero is the best place to start because after that, it only gets better. So that's a good place to start. Start at zero, and go up. Yeah. Go. Okay. Grow up. Yeah. Up, yeah. Um, you, zero, you can't go down. You're right at the bottom. Everything mm -hmm. after that is going uphill. So that's great. But I can hit listening to you talking. You're, you're holding a really good conversation already. You know, good detailed conversation. That's a good sign. You're, you're making great progress. Um, yeah. But all sorts of things. This is great. So, so, um, so, so tell me, with, with, with Istanbul, okay, it's, there's a lot of traffic. Um, oh, first of all, I want to ask. So, why do you, why is it important for you to learn English? Is it because of your job, or are there other reasons as well? Uh, hmm. Actually, I, I have many reasons to learn okay. English. Uh, my first reason: uh, the word languages is, is English, as you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to developments myself i want to develop um, i want to improve myself right. uh, and for example if you want to learn uh, something uh, there are many things in youtube or and on youtube on google google uh, mm -hmm. but uh, wikipedia we, we, uh, we say we call Wikipedia. Wikipedia. We, we, I think we say Wiki, Wikipedia. 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 Yeah. That's how we, we say. Anyway. We call Wikipedia. Oh yeah. well, it, it's it's similar. It sounded like Wiki. Oh, that's <laughs> that's fantastic. Okay. So I, okay. Yeah. Uh, English is important for uh, to reach uh, because uh, internet languages is English. Mm. Uh, okay. uh, if I can give you rates, uh, if you yeah, no, uh, I can give you rates. For example, uh, Turkish sources, uh, pers Turkish pers uh, Turkish sources, yeah, uh, person na person ten, for example, right. five or between five or five and ten but uh english sources uh 90 person 90 person yeah, yeah. Mm, absolutely you're right more. Mm -hmm. an international language airline pilots they have to talk in english with wherever they're flying so yeah that's that and it's obviously language of commerce but also for your particular job as a nurse um, hoping to do anaesthetics, are you likely then in your job to meet Indi a lot of English speaking people, maybe as patients or as fellow nurses and doctors? Would that, is that possible? Yeah, uh, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking go to uh, abroad because Turkish. Uh, uh, in Turkey, circumstances is not enough, uh, are right. not enough. Also, uh -huh. uh, I have I have others. 
I have other reason. I have other reasons okay. uh, to go to abroad. For example, okay. I am a nurse, but uh, okay. Turk. But uh, I can't. I can try to say. Okay. Well, let's try. I I am about the thinking. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, I am uh, when uh, it is very crowded when I go to hospital. I am right. working very hard, but my salary is low. Low. Mm -hmm. It's low. Okay. Nine. For example, my my salary is nine hundred dollars. It is. Uh, I deserve. I I am thinking. Uh, I deserve more. Yeah. And. Uh, qualification. Want, yeah, qualification and uh, yeah, I'm sorry for that. So I was going to say qualification. I'll put in the qualification. Screen. Okay. Can I just ask you one thing before we carry on? Obviously, I want to correct you to help you, but when do you want me to correct you? Every five minutes for the end. Um, what I don't want to do is interrupt you when you're speaking because i don't want to be rude i want to, i don't understand as if i'm being rude so when would you like me to 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 correct you uh i don't know the last vocal last word okay when yeah. would you like me to correct you as you're talking um do you want me to correct your your, your grammar when we're talking or do you want me to correct you in, or 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 write it down and do it at the end yeah uh, write it down last okay word. yeah okay yeah. it's because i don't just sound like i'm being rude if i'm interrupting while you're talking i don't want to be seem rude you know? yeah um you know it's I important what you're saying i always ask so that you're happy it is more important for example a <laughs> uh, patient Okay. Uh, there are many, uh, as I say, there are many patients come to hospital in Turkey. Uh, I am working child emergency, emergency. Mm -hmm. emergency uh, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, the patients are, uh, yeah, it is very fun to say. <laughs> uh, patients are impatient. Impatient, uh, impatient. 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 Okay. I mix uh, these. Yeah, it, it's weird. <laughs> Impatient. Funny to have. That's a verb. No, that's an um, adjective, a describing word. Patient is a noun. Yeah. Okay. So the impatient. Patience with impatient. Um, yeah, and unsympathetic. Uh, unsympathetic. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> I, I said it as a turkey. <laughs> uh, no, right. It's new. Yeah, I usually do that. <laughs> Um, Don't mind. You'll get better. Yeah. For example, I want to try to. I want to try them. I want to try help them. Yeah. Uh, generally, for example, are you okay? I can help you. I hope you well. I can help your uh, child. Yeah. And uh, yeah, my. Uh, I'm. Uh, I want to learn this. Mm -hmm. I'm checking. Sure. Yeah, my approach is that, but uh, patients or close patients, mm -hmm. uh, are uncultured and don't know anything, doesn't oh. uh, don't know anything, <laughs> but uh, don't respect. Uh, they they don't have don't they they don't have respect. Right, I, I get you. No manners, no respect. Very, right, like we said, very rude. And don't, very rude. And like I said, no patience. They don't understand that you're trying your best, but with so many people, it is not possible to do everything at once. And they don't seem to understand that, do they? It's like me, me, me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, are, they are thinking uh, themselves actually <laughs> must be very hard for you yeah actually i like my job uh, mm -hmm. because it is very important to help uh, other people uh, mm -hmm. i choose before i choose that mm -hmm. i choose because of that yeah. um, but uh, i'm actually my 
uh, I think there are uh, this situation is different in in for example in England. Right. I want to go to in England. Okay. I want to go to England. Yeah. Uh, because uh, English is uh, England is development country. Uh, uh, and yeah. mm-hmm. uh, I like more democracy and uh, respect mm-hmm. uh, culture and science. Uh, for example, uh, I want my if I have a uh, no, if I have a son, son uh, or mm-hmm. child. Daughter. Daughter. Yeah. Yeah. For example. Uh, 66 uh, years or mm-hmm. after six years mm-hmm. uh, I can give I can give uh, them uh, very opportunities to development wow. uh, learning for example I can uh, I want to teach them uh, other languages science uh, mathematics, or mathematics yeah mathematics yeah mm-hmm. i think i yeah i think i said <laughs> i can't yeah. say it yeah <laughs> mathematics yeah. mathematics yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pronunciation is very important yeah. to say something. i know, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. mathematics yeah okay mathematics. mathematics obviously for science and everything well what do you think about me Uh, well, the pronunciation. Of, what do you think uh, about me? Uh, when when you pronounce the words, I can recognize what you're saying. When you say mathematics, I could hear straight away mathematics. Um, a lot of people, yeah, a lot, a lot of people, Hamza, have the problem that the the two letters th we say it's like this with your tongue. Ba, ba, ba. So, mathematics. Say, Yeah, a lot of people say like a T, like T, which is not mathematics. 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 Yeah, that's it. Mathematics. Yeah. yeah. Mathematics. Mathematics. Or, I didn't know this word actually uh, uh, because of that. Normally, mm-hmm. uh, I try to say th. I think yeah. Shiva. Pronoun- I think it's th. Yeah, yeah math- the. Uh, um, like. Thin and and thick words like that. It's not easy. Thin. Yeah, yeah. The English language is, is is very confusing to us. A lot of words, um, the way they're spelt, tells you how, for example, to say the word. I give a little demonstration. Here we go. This word here, pal, is an informal word for a friend. Oh, he, she's my pal. Is my friend. But if you put an a, um, E on the end like this, it's not pally, it's pale. The sound changes. The E changes sound. You go from pal to pale. And the spelling, you have to know the spelling to know how you say it. And sometimes there are no rules. You just have to learn how it's said. So it can be very different and confusing to learn a lot of vocabulary. It just takes a lot of time and practice. And remembering as well, but um, that's the English language for you. It, it, it's a bit of a mixture. Yeah, you have Different. a point actually. Yeah, hmm? yeah. you have a point. But, hmm. but you know, it's a challenge. You know, and it, the fact that more people abroad learn English than British people learn other languages is is very good. British people are very lazy at learning languages. Yeah, we think who else has learned our language. So why do you need to learn in, uh, French or Turkish? Or Other German? people want to learn English. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think everybody, like yourselves in Turkey, you have a much better attitude about learning the language. You understand how important it is to be able to learn other languages to communicate. Whereas British people, then, you know, other people are learning our languages. When we go abroad, we expect people to know how to speak English. They don't. But that's the attitude, and it's not a good one. But that's why I always think it's great when people like you learn English, because you have a much better understanding why English is so important. And like you said, you're doing really well now. So great. I can speak Spanish, by the way, so I'm different. Are you native? Hmm? 
Are you native when you are no. speaking Spanish? No, um, no, um, I'm native English from England, but in Honduras, that they speak Spanish here in Honduras in Latin America. So to do my work as a school teacher, I've had to learn Spanish so as I can do my work in school. Like you're learning English to be able to help your career. Yeah. But people like me, most people say, I don't want to learn a language. I want other people to learn mine so I can speak to them in English. I want to learn Spanish and then eat and the culture. If I learn Turkish, I'll be able to understand the culture of Turkey and Istanbul much better. But <laughs> I learned Turkish. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's yeah. we'll see. Turkish but anyway, is, yeah, yeah. Turkish but grateful. Is it's good that you learn English. Yeah, Turkish is difficult languages. If you want to learn Turkish, uh, probably you would hard to learn English. Yeah, you will hard. Uh, maybe is it correct? I said. <laughs> You would have to. You would have to learn. You would English. had, had to. You 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 would have. Uh, I'll put the screen. Have to learn English. I'm just type it down, and it's going to come your way. You would have have. You would have to learn English. Um, what we call traditional. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I just played um, it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to say that. Actually, I want to say I wanted to oh, say sorry. wanted to say uh, if you want to learn Turkish, for example, yeah. let's say you want to learn Turkish, uh, probably it will be hard. It might be uh, it might be hard for me, uh, difficult. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, okay, Mike. Well. Actually, uh, you had. <laughs> I will try to say. Uh, past, yeah. perfect, simple. And anyway, you would uh, have you would have had learn. to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you uh, would. If it was if it was in the past, it would be you would. I'll put it in the screen. Oops, I'll put it in the screen for you. Present perfect. No, 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 no. If continuous uh, oh. three. Now, you would have to learn English is what we call conditional perfect. If you want to do, if you want to work in Britain, you would have to learn English. It's what we call conditional perfect. You have to do a condition has to be met. But you to work in England, the condition is you would have to learn English. So that's conditional perfect. Is it correct? Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah. That, It's conditional perfect. Yeah, absolutely. You spoke conditional perfect just now. Thank you. Um, if you had, um, yeah, had, yeah, go on. If you had uh, wanted uh, to learn English, uh, yeah, you would, uh, yeah, uh, come on. <laughs> uh, now would... that's a past perfect. Yeah. If you oh, had wow. wanted to learn uh, English, English oh, you know, Turkish, yeah. Uh, Turkish, yeah, it would you. be hard. It would be difficult for you. Yeah. Okay. Is so, yeah. Correct sentence. Uh, um, if you had Can wanted to, Turkey. Oh no. Maybe, for example, if if this is in the past, if Let's this say. is in the past, if if you had wanted to learn Turkish. You would have had to go to a language school. If you had wanted to learn Turkish, you would have had to go to a language school. So conditional perfect, and then it's like past. Um, it's like past perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's we have many different perfect tenses, but you've already the conditional perfect and the past perfect. Um, So that's a, that's a huge step. If you can use those two tenses, you are well on the way to becoming very fluent in English in time. Uh, I wanted to. I want to. Uh, I want to ask to you. Please. Uh, do, oh, look, not to. I want to ask you. I want to ask you. I'll take okay. a note. Please do. for me. I okay. Not say to I you. To. Yeah. It's ask you. I want to ask you. <laughs> Uh, okay. Can you write for me? 
can you okay i awesome. want to ask you okay yeah oh, okay. thank you for your uh yeah okay yeah okay so what do you want to ask me um my question is um do you yeah uh do you i i don't know huh okay um how what's it do you, uh, are you good writing i i can say that okay i, I want just to say yes, about okay. writing i want to okay you want to ask me about writing yeah uh okay. do you uh yeah are you good writing yeah uh, i do, uh, for my job as a school teacher i often teach children how to write you know good sentences how to put things in order yeah so I do a lot of that. Most of my time, I obviously I do speak and listen conversationally, and just but and also I often do reading with students. We get something on the screen and we read it together and we talk about it and ask questions uh, and to for them to practice their pronunciation. But I do some writing as well. Yeah. Um, mm. What sort of writing are you thinking of then? What is it you're thinking of? Yeah, yeah. Hamza is Hamza like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I like that uh, because uh, my writing is very bad. Uh, I yeah. can speak, uh, yeah, I can speak a bit, but I, I can't write. Uh, I can't write. Okay, as can good write. as Sorry. I can write but, it in English. Well, don't worry, that that will come in time. Do you know the first um, when you learn any language, the most important part is being able to speak the language. And then the reading and the writing come as well. If you think about it, Hamza, when we were when we were children, when we first learned to talk, we learned to speak, didn't we? Before we could read and write, that order human beings learn. We learned to speak, and then we learned to read and write in school. Okay. By the time we start school, we can already speak quite well. But when we were four or five years old. Then we learn to read and write. It comes in that order: speaking and listening, reading, writing. Got you. So, yeah. So in time, the writing will pick up. Hmm, yeah. It is a matter of time. But yeah, um, what sort of writing are you thinking of? What's it? What what sort of writing are you thinking about? Writing an um, essay or sentences? Uh, for now, paragraph. paragraph? In Turkish, paragraphs. 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 That's it, yes. Absolutely. I've got it up in the screen for you. Paragraphs, you know, sections of writing. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. uh, I want to learn write to as essay. Uh, an essay, yeah. An essay. I'm sorry for that. Which, which has paragraphs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But um, first of all, I want to learn paragraphs, concluding sentence. Uh, and sporting sentence. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, and no, you have different sen simple sentences, complex sentences. We have within a sentence, we have a clause, a bit of extra information, but it's not a sentence. Those are, there's lots of different things to learn in sentences about which that in itself is a whole lesson. Um, and uh, But yeah, so... There's plenty to do. We won't do it all today because we've only got another half hour, but that's something we could work on in future. We, we could work on doing essays, couldn't we? Yeah, it could be better. Um, it could how be to plan, yeah. But maybe first of all, to you know, practice our sentences, the different types of sentences that you use, and then paragraphs are when you, in, in an essay, each paragraph talks about something different a little bit different yeah yeah we might be talking about for example you know if you had a title why is football so popular in brazil for example well they've won the world cup five times haven't they so the first paragraph would be an introduction just introduce what football is in case somebody doesn't know what football is i can't imagine nobody knows what football is and then each set of a paragraph develops a, another point about football but all fits together and at the end 
the last paragraph is what we call the um the concluding paragraph all those different things you've talked about come together to help answer the question but that's something we would have to work at for example mm. um, yeah um maybe what i can suggest to you if you get a newspaper online newspaper or something an article about something if you look at the way it's set out then do it turkish first the way it's set out the first paragraph introduces the topic what it's about the second goes into a bit more detail about the same thing but it's different yeah if you yeah. read if you read it you'll see what i mean each paragraph has a different point but to do with the same topic um and then we can look, what i can do in future i can, or maybe even today i can find a piece of writing on the library if i can and see if if, if that helps us mm, yeah actually yeah. i don't I want to talk too much more i've been doing i've been you know, talking too much. i'm just trying to explain hopefully um <laughs> trying to, yeah um i think so, i understand all uh, yeah okay good tell me if you already know important. yeah all right okay it is important so, yeah uh, yeah absolutely much right anyway uh, and you know the, yeah come. i'm sorry yeah you so can't there's see. different types there's different types of essays you, what an essay might be just simply or describing or explaining um about something information or if you are doing fiction writing you're writing a story a great a, a great um if you're if you're an author book writer you know yeah. chap you know a story and you develop the points of the story another one could be discussion um should in britain for example should fox hunting be yeah. banned now fox hunting is a big controversial thing in england some people think it's great others say no it's cool so you have to say on the one hand it's still because but on the other hand it's bad because and you give for reasons so you look at both sides of the argument the last paragraph will then you come up with a verdict on the whole i think fox hunting is bad and should be banned after you've considered both sides it's different all sorts of different essays um to learn um it's a huge it's a huge area to learn in english but it's a really good one a very important one mm, yeah uh i agree up to end yeah but um and what you could do comes that you could think up of a topic that you're interested in um and you could develop you could sort of have a sort of write an essay at each point but read a newspaper if you get a new get one of your local newspapers and look at the paragraphs and see how they set it out each paragraph talks about something slightly different mm. but they're all up and they all make sense so try that first and see what you think and then maybe look at one in english if we can get an english one okay i, uh, I hope that's helpful yeah uh, it's your, a lot i know i'm talking to <laughs> your, your guest is very helpful as you say uh, mm -hmm. okay i i uh, i'll do that uh, and i'm yeah. learning when i yeah. learning uh, yeah. english process yeah but uh, mm -hmm. yeah but when you learn about essays use the Tur you look at the turkish language as well see how it's set out it be the same sort of style as you see in english or any other language just see the way it is set the pattern of, of an essay the different paragraphs how they all link together talk about the same thing when you understand that then maybe we can try and do one in english another time but understand the layout this how it is the structure first and then we'll be able to develop an essay maybe yeah to write yeah okay i have one question uh, more uh, please do please do and then i want to talk about a lesson 46 i will send a link uh, mm -hmm. okay you got it now have you oh. yeah uh, in your opinion uh, in your opinion what is my english level how yeah. uh, in terms your, your um we use the ielts um um speaking speaking band 
For fluency, you're least about seven because you, you speak without too much hesitation. You know, you've got a fairly, um, a lot of people when they learn in English, they say something, then they stop, and they have to think about what they're saying, and then they go on. So it's like a stop, start, stop, start. But you carry on quite smoothly, so you're quite fluent. You, you, you bring all your ideas together, you know, things you're talking about in a good way. So I'd say fluency, you're about a seven, which is good. It goes up to nine, by the way. Wow. So you're six, seven. Yeah, you're six, seven. So that's really good. Um, but grammar, um, you're, you're about a six. Okay, your sentences are good and they're varied. Just need to develop, develop them a bit more, many different ways uh, of um, sentences. Your vocabulary is good. You're about a, about a six or so. You're, you're about a six to seven, I'd say. Your pronunciation, you're always going to have a Turkish accent, but that's not a problem. If, if your accent is understandable, that, that's fine. It's when I, you listen to somebody, but you can't understand them because accent's so heavy, you can't understand everything, that's a problem. But everything you say, I understand you very clearly. So again, your pronunciation... It is good. It's up six, seven. You, your your accent is not a problem. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. Okay. Um. So yeah. So you're up the six to sevens. You know, nine is the maximum. And <laughs> I can tell you, there's probably a lot of native English speakers in Britain who won't get a nine. <laughs> They're a bit, a lot of bit. You know, we have a big joke, Hamza. We often say in Britain that a lot, lot of people, including Dutch people from Holland, speak good English. Sometimes they speak English better than the British people do. Yeah. Which is weird. It's but very interesting, it's, Dad. Well, no, but you know why? Because, because you know, people like yourself and others who want to learn it, you're, 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 you're trying to learn it really well. Whereas sometimes your native speaker can be a bit lazy um about how they do things because they think oh we're okay we, we, we just speak english we don't need to do any more whereas other people are really learning how to say it properly so there's a different the attitude's very different so yeah uh, i'd say you're, you're six to seven you're up in that band up there somewhere more yeah. like a seven i'm very about it i yeah, am very happy about seven. it uh, I am uh, very happy about it. Uh, yeah. I think uh, I have subscription. Uh, I have a subscription uh, on Cambly. Uh, mm -hmm. Excuse me. Please yeah. say. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's us talking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, have, I, have an, uh, I have a subscription uh, for one year. Uh, I will tell uh, Let's make... Uh, let me explain. Uh, let me explain it. Uh, okay. Five uh, one hour during uh, one hour uh, five days uh, one hour per uh, per week and for one year. It is. Okay. Uh, I think it is enough uh, time to learn English more. And uh, I think. Uh, in my opinion, uh, I will be okay after one year. Okay, yeah, okay. That that sounds like a sounds like a good plan. Yeah. So, so, are you saying an hour a day or an hour a week? An hour, one hour per day on Cambridge or one hour a week on Cambridge? Uh, I didn't. Uh, I, I don't the, understand. Sorry, this. I know the um, connection. What, uh, so, are you saying one hour per day? each day on Cambridge, or one hour each week. So each week you do one hour, or or were you saying every day you do an hour? I understand. Five days, uh, yeah, I described uh, wrong, I, uh, I understand now. Uh, I said wrong that, uh, I uh, I see now. Uh, five days a week, five days a week, my, subs yeah. uh, my subscription. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. One, uh, I can, how can I explain it? For, uh, one hour, one hour, 
Farkas Bey. Van Aur, Fadeze Bing. Okay. Each day, each day you do an hour. No, just five days a week. Oh, all uh, right. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. If your subscription allows you to do that, that's fine. Yeah. That's also, good. Uh, as I say, uh, my work is very hard uh, because uh, this week, uh, anyway, the, I'm going to school. Uh, I usually get up. Uh, yeah. 5 a.m. and then well, oh <laughs> wow that's <laughs> really... not finish uh, I I explain it uh, it's very different uh, no it's okay uh, I usually get up 5 uh, a.m. and I go to school uh, I usually uh, arrive uh, I yeah I arrived uh, 8 a.m. it takes two hour by bus uh, it usually takes about by bus. To go to school, uh, Oko to school uh, starts 8 a.m. to uh, 1 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. and then uh, when I'll go to hospital when finish when school finished, uh, hospital starts 4 o'clock 4 p.m. to uh, 6 a.m. 14 mm -hmm. hours and then uh I'll, I'll go to school after the hospital 36 uh 36 uh, 36 hour i don't i uh, have i haven't sleep uh, mm -hmm. yeah 36 hours 36 hours i'm sorry mm -hmm. i still don't sleep very very hard wow. and i want to and uh, I I try to learn English uh, in this process. Wow, that's I've, very different. Yeah, but I uh, I've done a bit. I've done uh, I've done arrived. I've done arrived. Orange. Okay. Uh, orange. Uh, okay. Time, orange. Yeah. Time. Uh, time management. Time management is important. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned that this. Uh, I learned that uh, in this process, time management, it is more important mm -hmm. because, yeah, uh, I were uh, I didn't imagine uh, when I I used to I didn't used to imagine that this, mm -hmm. but I've done. Uh, I can I, I can do that. <clears throat> I can do this. I'm sorry. Yeah. I usually mix That's good. Uh, that this. Uh, but uh, can you explain uh, what is uh, what is the difference uh, that uh, of that with this? Uh, how can uh, how can I use this that and this? Well, I'm. Um... First of all, you've told me that every day you're pretty busy. You have to get up early, you have to travel, you have to go to school, and then you go to the hospital. Um, what time do you get back home in the evening? What time do you finish and get home back to your house or apartment? Two, hour, two days after, after two days. I am on holiday, uh, by the way. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's uh, right then. Okay. Yeah. When it's school, I deserve that. When you're, oh, it sounds like you do. I think you do. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a bit sure you're going to make yourself very, very tired, but you have to. I mean, my mother was a nurse. She she was a nurse, and she got up to be, I don't know what you call it in, in Turkey, as a ward sister. She was like the head of the ward. And I know for her, it was extremely busy. Obviously, it's a very tough job because you're dealing with, with patients and things. But um, so when, day, what time during the day would you be, doing your studying, your English practice sometime uh, in the yeah. I usually uh, I live two hours uh, to learn English. One mm. hour uh, on Cambly, one hour myself. Uh, okay. Usually. Uh, 
try to learn. And by the way, uh, I have an advantage. I have an adventure, advantage. Um, I can advantage. 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 Yeah. Advantage. 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 Yeah. advantage. 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 That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have an advantage. Yeah. Yeah. I have an advantage. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> no, good. That's no, good. It's good. Break what happened. Yeah. I like That's you. It. I like you, by the way. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. I, I like try you. to do my best, you know? Yeah. It is, it is enough to, <laughs> it is enough to get, you no, know, you, to get somebody mm -hmm. the time. Okay. Yeah, it's, it makes sense. Okay. So, so, so what's the advantage? Tell me about the advantage that you, you, you're describing an advantage to me. Yeah. Uh, my school language is, is uh, my school language is uh, English. Uh, okay. I, I'm studying on prepare. So I'm studying uh, prepare. How can I use pronunciation? I'm studying to prepare for. Uh, yeah. I just I've just learning English this year mm -hmm. uh, at school. Yeah. Uh, but uh, after this year, after this year, uh, I'll learn. Uh, I'll learn anesthesiology as an English. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. Uh, I if I want to go to uh, abroad, for example, England, US, yeah. uh, it is uh, this situation is uh, very advantage for me. Advantageous. Okay, I was going pages. Okay, I'm putting up the screen now. Advantageous. But oh, I missed that. Advan. Okay, just when you type fast, letters. Okay, advantageous, 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 advantageous. advantageous. That's it. That's it. That's the one. Yeah. So it's advantageous to what? Hmm. Uh, to then I want to go. Uh, if I want to go to uh, abroad. Uh, it is advantageous yeah. to learn to know English. Yeah, actually. Uh, Absolutely. Can I do that? Uh, it is. Uh, is it difficult to go to abroad as a as a nurse uh, um, from Turkey? Well, I I don't know about European countries, but I know in Britain, in my home country, um, I, I haven't been there for. 10 months now, I, I'm living abroad myself. But in our health, our national health service, our hospital, etc., we've always had lots of nurses and staff workers from many different countries, from Turkey, from the Middle East, from China, from Latin America, as well as obviously from, in, as from Britain. Um, I know at the moment you may have heard about Brexit, about Britain... Um, leaving the European Union, which I think is a very sad situation. I don't think we should be doing, but that's my opinion. Um, already, a lot of people from Anybody different ha have have gone back home, but maybe they might come back again. Already, we are having we, we, we are short of nurses, we are short of workers, people that are needed in the hospital. So it may be. With your qualification as a nurse, they might say, oh, we, we really need more nurses and people like you who are wanting to do anaesthetics. And if you show them that, they might say, hey, we need you because we need more nurses. We want some more nurses and we want somebody who knows about anaesthetics, who is trained in it. Oh. So, And that plus English would really be a, what we call you know, a, a plus, you know, an extra advantage if you if you are able to show them that so you need to look at you need to look up the national health service see what what people they want it may be in future they'll be wanting more people if we are short of nurses and doctors um who knows in, in the in the future 
you, you, they might want people like you to go and do a job there as a nurse, maybe. Yeah. An expert at health, but from what I hear in the news, it, 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 we may need more people in our health service, in our hospitals. Uh, how long after one? Uh, how long after uh, month? How long month uh, is enough uh, to uh, to go to speak English for me? Uh, um, and in UK, for example, uh, just one. Um, if I yeah. if uh, I will use uh, I'll I'll. I'll use many different things. Okay. Yeah, don't, uh, don't, don't, don't be afraid to try. Don't worry if it, sound, if it don't sound right. The way you learn to set properly is by have, saying it and thinking, oh, that's not right. Let's try another way. And then you get it with a bit of help from me as well. So don't be afraid to have a go. It, it, it doesn't matter. Really, it doesn't. Um, just say what comes and then we can help you from there. So, so what are you trying to say then? Yeah, no, yeah, it is more... Okay, I can... Oh, thank you. Uh, I forget it <laughs> when I think how much English do you need to have to cut to go and work in England is that what you mean yeah uh, how okay what level of English um do you need um obviously you'll need quite a good level of English especially if you're working directly with the patients and the other people because they, they obviously need to understand you and what you're saying to them um so i like to say you're about six to seven obviously if you can go up higher that'd be really good that's really important to try and go higher from band six and seven up to say eight or something um but if you keep on the way you are now that should happen and i don't know how long it to take it all depends on how obviously how much you how much you practice and how much you study the more you do the quicker and the better you'll become um but i cannot see i can't see any reason why you should not be able to do it yeah mm, yeah it might be best if you i don't know how the system works but um i don't know if the if, um where you are in istanbul there must be employment agencies and consultants who might be able to advise you on being able ha, what how what the possibilities are of working in Britain. They could give you more information about joining the health service in Britain than I could. I've only, I only know what I hear in the news, but I don't know much because it's not my area. So employment agencies in, in Istanbul should be able to give you advice. Maybe the British embassy or consulate, if there's one in Istanbul or Ankara, should also be able to help you in that one. They can, they have information on job opportunities in Britain. That would be the And what you need in English exactly, they could actually give the exact information that you need that will help you. Yeah. It, uh, embassy, Ask them. Yeah. Yeah. It, employment agency, agencies. Yeah. Absolutely. They will give you the information that you need and then you can say, right, this is what they want. This is what I've got to do to get there and then that help you because you know where you need to go what you're doing that's get information from these people that will help you to plan and know your next step hmm, yeah it is clear i hope that sounds okay. helpful yeah i hope that sounds helpful helpful well you understand what i'm saying aren't you so that's good <laughs> yeah that's I, good I understand all yeah all. Yeah. yeah but i will say I this so i'm happy Okay. Yeah, I have a problem when I'm speaking sometimes. Oh, uh, well, okay. Don't rush it, though. Don't feel you've got to speak straight away. Give yourself a second or two to think your answer, then say it. Don't try to say it straight away in a hurry, because that's when it goes wrong. Have a second, think, then speak your answer. The, the prefer if you think and then you say it very clearly, it's much better. Rather than somebody just go, Psh, and then think, oh, I don't know what to say. Think about it first for a second, then speak it. Yeah, carefully, slowly, and carefully. Then you'll be understood. Mm, yeah. Um, it, that's all. I, that's hopefully that's my suggestion. Anyway. 
Uh, time passes by so quickly. I can. Oh wow! I know it. oh, wow. it's it's private. Zoom it just goes like yeah. that. Um, so yeah, can I just say to you, um, my hours on Cambridge can vary sometimes um, because in in two weeks' time, the schools or the children start back at school. Yeah. So back working then this is the vacation so i've had more time to work like now or different times but then it may change but what i do when i know what i'm doing the day i post my schedule on on the system then people like you can see when i'm available if i'm not always available i'm sure there's always other teachers um that also be able to help you it um, once from england like myself our accent is different from american accents so it depends what you like. Do you like the American accent, the way they say, it, or, or the or the British accent? Yeah, um, I prefer um, uh, British accent. By the way, hmm? I prefer British accent. I usually mm. uh, I try to learn British accent. Mm. Okay, yeah. that, that's 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 what I can suggest. So, um, and also if you do and you want to do some writing, if it's me, for example, I'll try to find something, but. If in the meantime you found things on Angel or Cambridge that, that are writing exercises that you want to use, you just post the link, then I can open it and we can work together. We can work together with lessons and exercises, yeah? It could be nice. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, why not? I can't see. It and make be, sure you have it'll a be cup useful. Of coffee. Yeah, have a cup of coffee. Make sure you have a cup of coffee with you while you're doing it so you can drink and... <laughs> voice doesn't get dry i've got water i always often do that because my voice gets very dry when i talk a lot so make sure you have tea or coffee or water to help you yeah if you want to if you want to a uh, coffee i send i'll send it i can <laughs> send it anyway well yeah from here That'd be interesting, to right? you <laughs> yeah it's great so Far from here um Absolutely. Um, now, it, like, so is any two minutes? What what time is it in Turkey? It must be very late. Um, how can I say that? I forget it. Uh, two o'clock, two six a.m. Two six a. Say, I'm sorry. Two o. Okay, two, two o six. Two fifth. Uh, two fifth seven. Okay. Wow. That's um. It's 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 morning here. It is nearly six o'clock in the evening. Yesterday for you, it's nearly six o'clock. Soon it'll be time for dinner. More different, more different. Yeah, um, we're eight hours behind you. Yeah, we're eight hours mm. behind you. Eight hour difference in time. So that's um. Yeah, uh, let me show you Istanbul, by the way. Wow, is that uh, Adia Sophia? Adia Sophia. Okay, let me show you. Adia Sophia. Yeah, there. A bit uh, you know, besides, no behind. If, uh -huh. if want, behind. We're behind. We're behind. We're behind you in time. Yeah. Wow. Well, come to Istanbul. I would like to see the Agia Sophia. I can give you advice about Istanbul. Uh, if I can come there, I will. Yeah. Uh, if you so, want to travel with me, I can uh, help you about it. Okay. Okay, and you yeah. can teach. Me Turkish, right? Because I can't speak Turkish. Yeah, of course. Uh, I ple <laughs> I'll please. Uh, I'll delight it. I'll delight it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've got twelve seconds left, so it's like yeah. countdown. So you did really well today. I hope that's yeah. helped you. And uh, you must sl and sleep well. You need to sleep well now. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Talk to you later. Yeah. See you. Yeah, see you.